Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and this video is the answer of the uh, the comment that what was aphoristic style by Divya. So I put a video earlier uh, and so the question arises in the mind of Divya that what is aphoristic style she doesn't know. So I am replying to her uh, question uh, through this video. If you have, uh, let me tell you, I tell you uh, each time that if you have any doubt in a video, you can put it in a comment or if you don't understand any part of the literature, any particular topic, you can write down in comment box. I will be making videos on that topic. So first, let's go through what is aphoristic style by Bacon. All right, so Bacon was, you know, fan of Seneca or his style was uh, related to, you can, we can say Seneca style he was writing. We know that uh, Cicero was the uh, champion of uh, prose writing in Renaissance. Uh, but later, Bacon fi found that this style will not work in English. So he used a new style of writing and that called aphoristic style. What is aphoristic style? Simply, aphoristic style is epigrammatic. Or what is epigrammatic? It is brief. Okay, so such words are used whenever you will go through the definition of aphoristic style. You will see terse word there, pithy style, and you will say brevity in the work. Okay, but simply, uh, if I want to make it simple and easy to understand, it will be a brief line and in single line it has a great meaning and whenever you will be reading back in or his essays you will find that this is happening there he has a single line and it is of a great value means if you are using brevity in your uh, sentence and it is uh, giving value uh, to human humankind and uh, usually uh, okay let me make if you understand hindi as well so we know that there is one word sukti. Sukti means uh, a simple line of a great value. So or great lesson is there. So he used in his essays. If you'll see, there are so many lines. Uh, they are, are there in Bacon's style. Uh, let's take a few. Two I have chosen for you. Uh, see this one. Studies serve for delight and for ornament and for ability okay so it's a tricky line giving a quite good lesson now let's go for another one some books some books are to be tasted other to be swallowed and some are to be chewed and digested okay so hopefully you understood what is aphoristic style of Bacon and you like the video if you like the video please don't forget to share this with others thank you for being with me see you in next video